You're a carver of the most incredibly intricate and well-detailed birds. How did you get into this? Well, I've been carving since childhood, not carving but working with my hands since the age of 10 or 11. You know? And has your whole career been as an artist? No, no. I had to survive by doing an apprenticeship and opening an auto electrical business uh, in Queenstown in the Eastern Cape. And I ran that for many years, which I was not happy doing. It wasn't my line. Not at all. So uh, eventually, when I had to get out of the business through health, you know, for the health reasons, I, you know, I had hemorrhages and all sorts of things through stress. I dropped out in Neisner and spent six years on a yacht doing nothing. And then to keep up with inflation, I came back to land and started doing my artwork, which is fortunately become quite lucrative. And you know, your birds are all incredibly lifelike. Can you just mm. briefly explain to me the process of how you go about creating a bird? Well, I do a lot of study on the bird itself. You know, if I haven't uh, mounted one, as you see in the studio, a couple of mounted ones lying around behind you and so on. If I haven't an actual mounted one, I have some in the deep freeze, dead ones, or if I haven't, what I, I get from the ornithological department in Cape Town, they give me skins, which I work off. So they're accurate in measurements, and colouring and so on. And then your, your carving technique, is, mm. is, it, is it all wood? On, uh, you, you carve yes. wood initially? Yes, yes. And you use, you use that uh, machine behind you, which is a dentist strop? Yeah, this is pneumatic. It's all dental, all the diamond cutters, etc. Exactly the same I actually get from the Megadent uh, supply of dental equipment. Uh, mm. And where are your birds exhibited? Well, I have them. I have a case in one of the local shopping malls and in a few galleries around the country. Mike, right next to you right now, you, you have an eagle's head um, which, which you've carved. Can you just show that to the camera? That's an incredible piece of work. That, that is so lifelike. Are you sure that that has been carved and it's not the real thing? Yeah, no, that's been <laughs> carved out of a piece of wood. What kind of wood have you used? It's gelatin. It hasn't been painted because all I've done with this is take a mould off it and had bronzes cast of it. And then it's been mounted onto a sandstone pyramid. It represents the American bald eagle, which is in fact the same species as our fish eagle. Does it make the same noise? <clears throat> exactly the same. Only their, their bald eagle hasn't dark eyes like ours. They have a green a light, light, light eye. What would you say would be your favourite piece that you've done in there? Uh, it's, uh, it's an African goshawk. Is that a picture of the, of the sculpture? Yeah, yeah, it's not, I've got, I have better photographs than that. Why, why is it particularly your favourite? Well, it's, it has, you know, there's a nice action in it. He's, your, he's the guy that you worked, that off. You worked off. Yeah, right. Where does the specimen come from? This, this flew into a win window up behind the head. In the and you, you had it mounted? Yes. I and you worked from there? I've done a couple of them. Here on the other workbench, what have we got here? Little scops are. I'm still busy on. How many hours have you worked on him so far? Oh, about six weeks. Do you work full time? Well, as you know, I spend most of my time drinking coffee. Uh, I work from probably 11, not almost 11 to 4 every day. I'd say six, seven days a week. What do you still have to do to this? Uh, I'm still busy painting him. You know, all these talents are going to be done. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of detailing on the feather. I'm going to do all the bar, the, the quills are going to be highlighted in. And the splits in the, all the feathers are going to come out. What paint do you use, Mike? Uh, it's the Joe Sonia gouache, like an acrylic. What do you use, a, a number naught brush? Well, I use very fine brush. I initially start off with an airbrush to do the base colours, which we build up very slowly. 
as I say, up to 70 coats. Because you can't just slap it on, otherwise it looks like a piece of plastic. Yeah. They're very thin washes. And then I use the brushes to do the detailing. Can you turn this little owl around so that we can see yeah. it back to the camera? Please? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of work in an owl painting them because <laughs> colours are absolutely awesome. Mike, do you spend a lot of time out in the bush? Uh, no, the no, no, I'm not a bush person. So your research is basically in the books? In books and off uh, skins and dead birds. What I know about birds, the only thing I know is the ones I, I actually produce. I do quite a bit of study on them, obviously. But uh, I'm not an ornithologist, so I'm not an authority on birds. But you do enjoy travel? Oh, I love traveling, yes. Do you still sail a lot? No, I haven't done for years. But I do a sh an annual trip, you know, to St. Helena on the supply ship, which I enjoy. That's my holiday. That's your relaxation. Yeah. Forced to do nothing. I think, can I come with you next time? Oh, yeah, yes. It's, <laughs> it's a wonderful trip. Mike, mm. if we wanted to contact you, if you mm. wanted to see the birds or, mm. or possibly buy, where would a viewer go? The, anybody's welcome to come up to the studio anytime. I enjoy it. So Mike? that's not a problem. Mike Strip, thank you very much.